Well, hello everyone. Here's what we have so far. Uh, just a little taste at the beginning of the video or as to as how far I got with the home assistance installation. I have not automated anything yet. I am in order to automate things you gotta have your sensors and data in in good working order and then we're gonna start making automating decisions based on all of this data so let's see what else we have managed to get done in this install of home assistant well here it is boys um, here's the PC that I assembled for my home assistant instance um, it's just a PC that I had laying around and it was compatible with the home assistant requirements as the title of this video suggests we are trying to start automating things that are happening in house in regards to solar and of course other things in the house so it's assembled it is working and the next step is going to put it in its own space however it will not have anything attached to it, it will be completely headless, plug it in, put in an ethernet cable and that's where we're going to, here's the drive, it's an inland NVMe SSD 512 gigabytes data, I'm in a garage right now so the processor it is kind of hot but I need this to be silent and it will be inside the house so it's not going to be this hot. So here is the Shelly energy meter. We're going to have two of them installed in the uh, service box outside so I can measure the input, <clears throat> the power of uh, the consumption from the grid. The LV6548s are not capable of measuring how much power is incoming from a grid. So I want to have that in a home assistant in order to automate things better. And of course, we do have a split core current transformer that goes onto the Shelly EM that gets installed outside on the, uh, in the uh, service panel. All other connections, all other data we will have in a home assistant through the sensors out of the LV6548s. Then we have all of these uh, Z-Wave switches that can be controlled through the uh, home assistant. In total, I have around 40 Z-Wave devices, of which are uh, two of them are a thermostat and door lock. This one is from Quickset. It works really good and on top of that we have temperature and humidity sensors throughout the house I have four of them three inside and one outside on top of that I have installed open EVSC charging station for uh, Mustang Mach-E that I have. This easily integrates into Home Assistant 2. Installed it here on a dedicated uh, 50 amp circuit just for this. This is a 40 amp version so it's at 80 percent of a rated output of the circuit. And the cables do come through the wall. Now there's a little hanger that you can hang your cable over comes with 24 feet with the cable and so far after four months Mustang Mach-E is doing just fine what a beautiful car I don't think I ever drove anything so comfortable or is it maybe because I'm older right now and I like peace and quiet but anyway it works good 
I have finished installing security cameras around the house. So I have a total of seven of them. They are Real Link 810 cameras uh, powered. They can accept power over Ethernet, which I already made. So we have one single uh, Cat6 cable going to them, to all seven of them. I put the cables in when I was working on the siding and windows, so it was an easy install at this time. This will be a part of a Home Assistant 2 in the near future, I hope. All right, here we are on the overview page of my Home Assistant instance install um, we can see all of the Z-Way Z-Way devices over here on this side water heater and then various temperatures throughout the house the so garage door is integrated the front door lock here's a Tesla style uh, solar power car um, doesn't work as it as is intended yet I'm still working on it there are some numbers there are some math that need to be performed to flip the values around so they can show correct directions thermostat of course your weather forecast and then interesting thing we have a car over here you can actually integrate your Ford Mach E into the home assistant shows the battery state of charge at 95% Here's the open EVSC box. It tells us the usage of this last session, which is at 6.21 kilowatt hours, and total usage so far since I installed it is at 275 kilowatts that went to the car. I installed it not long ago. And then, of course, we got solar and a grid mm. dashboard. Here it is at this point. Here's another instance of a Tesla style solar car. I kind of like it. I want to keep it, but I got to work on these. Uh, the way the bubbles are and the way these dots go on. And this is obviously the green ones backwards. Uh, interesting thing, which I did not know until I installed those Shelly energy monitors, is that uh, even though I'm in a battery mode right now, the uh, LV6548s will pull between uh, 100 and 200 watts off the grid. I don't know why that is. However, it is what it is. Anyways, that's that part. Now let's look at the uh, configuration. Okay, we'll go to uh, integrations. Here we are. We see all of my integrations over here. Here's the Ford. Ford integration, Shelly integration, here's the Z-Wave, I actually have 38 devices, uh, one is currently removed, but I don't know that I say 39 or Ford, but yes, that's it. And then we have a hot water heater here, I started integrating the cameras, then garage door opener, then mosquito broker, it has 195 entities, which is importing data from uh, from the inverters straight to home assistant i have uh, moved away from a dedicated machine just for an influx db and grafana and i have integrated both of those into the uh, home assistant uh, pc here's the grafana and here is the influx db and uh, it will be used as necessary everything is working as intended so far so here's the this is a small overview of what i have been doing for the past month or so slowly but surely you can't get everything done at the same time but anyways this is the overview i think i got all the sensors figured out now the only thing is left over is to automate all of this so I'm not very skillful with it so I'm gonna be asking for help from all the people especially Jay Blance he's been helpful so far maybe he will help some more uh, but anyways I think we'll get this running pretty good in the near future so this is this is just a short overview alright guys I'll talk to you soon later